Hello everyone, welcome to my life. I'm Julie Zanath. So I um, am currently at Plato's Closet because I brought in some bags of clothing that I want to sell because I just don't like them anymore. So I'm right outside about to go in. Um, I'm gonna put my mask on and yeah, let's see how much they buy. I mean, like, later I'll have to come and, you know, pick it up. Uh, wow, that is terrible lighting. Um, hello everyone, welcome back again. I did not finish vlogging yesterday. I just went to Plato's Closet, dropped the clothes off, later went back and picked it up, and then just got back home and just worked all day. Um, today I'm going to go run another errand. Wow, uh, that beautiful mask, please disregard. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go drop off some more clothing and then a little avocado toast to go because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna pick up coffee. I tried making some at home. I'll just buy some. I feel like all I'm filming in is my car because that's where I've been spending most of my time at. So here we are now. I just picked up my coffee. I, you know, I had to get down. Unfortunately, they did not have a drive through There's a lot of cars driving by. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, just focus on me. It's all okay. <laughs> um, so I got a grande cold brew with oat milk and then two pumps of hazelnut and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. That's usually what I order. I just like change up the like syrups or like the quantities of the syrups, um, but it's usually just a cold brew with some kind of non-dairy milk. Like when they didn't have oat milk because they ran out, then I was doing soy. So that's usually my order. It's like a good safe drink that is lightly sweet, but it's not bitter because I can't do just plain black coffee or just plain cold brew. Not at this time in my life. Okay, so I obviously changed. Wow, I feel like from last time that I checked in, <laughs> this was not as big and it really hurts. I love hormonal acne. Love it. <laughs> so, in one of my past vlogs, I shared uh, the brand Dewdrop and the drinks that I got from them. So, I wanted to do a little taste test because I. I want a drink right now and I was like why not just have one right now okay I guess we'll try this one pretty bright uh, it's obviously room temperature so maybe they'll taste better when they're nice and cold um, after I you know try it I'll go and add some ice but I feel like it'd be nice to just try it on its own so we're gonna Ooh. wait there we go. The fizziness. <laughs> I love sparkling drinks, by the way. Okay, so it smells like ginger, and then it says it has yuzu something and mushroom. I'm kind of a little bit huh, about the mushroom, but okay. It doesn't smell terrible. It smells pretty good. Okay, it tastes like lemony, like citrusy. I can, I feel like I could taste that like mushroomy aspect to it. And the ginger, maybe the yuzu is like that like lemony aspect of it. I don't know. Um, truthfully, not my favorite, but I'll drink it. Oh, I'm so sad that I didn't love this one. Maybe the other ones will be best. So, I just got a Diet Coke. I'm so sad. I really do wish that I would have liked that drink. I still have two more to try. So, hopefully the other ones are really good. Yeah, I can't lie and say, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's delicious because I personally don't love it. For now, I'll have a Diet Coke <laughs> with tons of ice. Welcome back to my life. I am Julie Zanette and um, I 
just decided to pick up the camera today. There's no specific reason. I just felt like it because it's a really great day today. Yes, it is. So I have been mentioning for a while about these exciting things, these changes happening in my life. And I believe it was on my last vlog, I said that I was going to finally talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so things have changed over here for me. Um, this is actually my second week as a full-time VA social media manager. I finally <laughs> was able to quit my nine to five and fully commit to this. So if you guys um, have any questions about it, I totally feel free to, uh, you know, leave those down below and I will answer those. If you want me to make a video about it, I will gladly do that because it's definitely something that not a not a lot of people are aware of, but it's very exciting. So yeah, I basically am helping out these other small businesses, woman owned for now. That's like my targeted audience. I of course could easily work with men, but I would much rather work with women. I feel more comfortable. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I help, you know, with their businesses in the back end. So, you know, client management, emails, social media, social media management. So yeah, I'm doing that full time now and it's been wonderful. <laughs> I was a little like scared at the beginning, but things are doing really, really well. Like I've had quite a few inquiries. I am now officially with five clients, <laughs> which is crazy. And I have more lined up that I'm gonna be, you know, getting on calls with to see if we are going to be working together, but that's basically what happened. And I couldn't be more grateful honestly, because I make my own hours, you know, I have a cap of like how much I want to work and I'm honoring that. That's the news, <laughs> what I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm actually going to be working on client stuff right now because I was on calls this morning. I had a potential client, you know, reach out and I chatted with her and then I just did an onboarding call which is like an hour call where we kind of just dive into everything you know like how we're going to communicate the tasks that they want me to help them with we go over those um, our means of communication little things like that if you guys want me to actually go more in depth on the subject then i will be very happy to but that that's what i wanted to share for now on friday i have another onboarding call with another client so lots of stuff happening but i really really am enjoying every second of it that is that i'm going to get to work just wanted to give you that little update anyways hope you guys are doing well and i'll check in another time hello everyone welcome back to my life back to my channel uh wow i'm looking a little rough uh what a day today has been also in my room i'm putting like things away so if there's things in my bed that's what that is but i got back home a little while ago from going to shoot some pictures with my cousin's fiance in their most adorable precious handsome little boy he's i believe six months old so <clears throat> this was actually my first time meeting him i know because he was born while the whole COVID thing, you know, had happened and um, now I'm fully vaccinated. So I felt really good and comfortable going to meet him. But he, he was so smiley. Like when we got there to the place, he was sleeping and he, you know, he woke up from his nap and I was talking to him as he was waking up. He gave me the sweetest little smile. He's so cute. I'm going to try and show you guys more of him because you guys are going to fall in love with him. He is precious, okay? So, um, anyways, that happened. We took pictures, but they didn't really turn out exactly how we had both envisioned. <clears throat> so, her name is Diamond, by the way. Uh, my cousin's fiance, so that's what I'm going to be referring to. So Diamond had sent me had sent me over like a photo of kind of the look that she was going for and then we chose some locations which were outdoors. 
but things just didn't really work out. <laughs> also, the weather has been so ugly lately here in Texas, so um, we finally had the chance today where it wasn't raining. Well, ha 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 for, for a little bit. Um, when we went to go shoot, it was so hot, so sunny. Like we were sweating. Um, little baby Alexander started to get a little, you know, like upset because he was very, very hot. Like his belly was red because of the heat. Funny enough, like an hour after we finished and we left, it started pouring down like I couldn't see while I was driving, like very badly. So we're gonna try and come up with something else. Maybe we will shoot at her house. Like I have a little setup. I'm going to try and create like a little like inspo board for that day just so that I can visually see what I can go for because I'm not a professional photographer. I just take fun photos for fun. So, oh, he's handsome. Lots of handsome men um, around here now. So, hello, sir. <laughs> I'm not making it up. He's like over there. Wait, somewhere. He he disappeared from the frame. But um, anyways, yeah, that happened. I actually want to <laughs> plan out like what my week is going to be looking like either today or tomorrow for like this coming work week. Yeah, so like Monday, I have three calls, one with a client that I'm already working with and then two with two potential clients. And then Tuesday, I have something happening that I've mentioned for a while now and I actually just went ahead and did it. And that is that I'm getting lip filler. I'm getting my lips done on Tuesday. And I'm actually going to message the spa, the place, and see if I can take this camera so I can film it. Because I personally really enjoy watching those videos, just kind of seeing the before and after the whole process of girls getting their lips done. So I'm going to see if I can do that. If I can, you'll come along and I will film a video for you guys because I've mentioned that I've kind of just seen my lips and they look kind of small, especially this top lip. I don't know. When I had my braces I and then I got them off, I kind of missed having them because I noticed that my lips sort of looked bigger when I had braces on. So, yeah, that's coming up. So on Tuesday, um, I just need to be prepared you know, have all my work done before I go and get that done. Might meet up with a friend for a walk in the morning, just depending on the weather, you know? So, <laughs> I wanna be really prepared and good to go. Um, okay, I've talked too long, I'm gonna just, you know, sign off and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>
it kind of feels like it. Um, something happened. Something happened. I, <laughs> I'm going to be whispering because people are asleep. Um, but yeah, I got my lips done today. They're still kind of swollen and starting to get a little purple. As you can see right here, um, <laughs> they are kind of sore for sure. And I'm still a little bit tiny bit. <laughs> I'm still a little bit numb because I was numbed um, prior to having the filler injected. So uh, the girl that, you know, did this work for me, she injected like inside like in here and then down here to really numb my lips like this top um lip i felt zero i couldn't even feel my lip like i felt nothing now when it comes to my bottom lip i did feel the needle go in but it wasn't terrible i mean it wasn't painless but i like i managed so yeah this is what they're looking like right now i feel like it's still a little weird and they definitely will go down from all the research that I've done and what I was also told by the girls at the the place. Um, is it a spa? No, I don't think it's a spa, but they do a lot of, you know, treatments like this. They do Botox, they do facials, they have like M sculpture, things like that. So yeah, I know that my lips are going to be going down a little bit. They look kind of crazy, but... Um, the more that I look at them, the more I like them. I, of course, do want them to go down a little bit more. And, yeah, they're kind of cute. We'll see how I wake up tomorrow because, again, I'm already bruising a little bit. And I think that, like, the second or third day is when you start to really bruise up. But not terrible. Yeah, I get used to this face. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to sleep, but I just wanted to share with you, like, at night what my lips were looking like on the first day looking at the viewfinder because it kind of seems like my lip is a little bit off but i still feel numb on this side which is crazy because that was like more than six hours ago or something i don't know the girl said that the numbing would probably last like all night i'll let you know how i wake up tomorrow but that is the update in my life pretty fun <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,